Hi, I'm Guy Bazan at the University of California, Santa Barbara. Hi, my name is Zhang Haso, Department of Material Physics at Donghai University. And we'd like to tell you a little bit about a paper uh, that appears in Advanced Functional Materials on the use of conjugated polyelectrolytes to improve the function of organic light emitting field effect transistors. This work was done in collaboration uh, with uh, Ebenezer Namdas, Andrea Gutaker, and uh, Professor Alan Heger. Now, as a means of the background, this uh, work is interesting because it combines a hybrid material and a hybrid device. The conjugated polyelectrolyte is a, a polymer with a electronically delocalized backbone and pendant groups with ionic functionalities. These materials have been used in the past as biosensor platforms because they're soluble in water and more recently in the past few years to control the injection barriers in optoelectronic devices control also the fabrication process. The light emitting uh, field effect transistor is an interesting hybrid structure because it combines the function of an organic light emitting diode with that of a thin film transistor, meaning that the current can be controlled with a gate electrode and thereby giving rise to modulations in light intensity. Light emitting semiconductor, the nature of the hole and electrode injecting electrode are critical components for light emitting transistor. So actually the organic light emitting transistors have been demonstrated in which both the hole and electrode injection is achieved by conducting an asymmetric device structure with a high work function and low work function electrode. But the complexity of evaporating electrode with the different work function is a practical barrier of this type of device for application in color display. So in this paper, we present a solution process to organic light emitting transistor fabrication methodology based on the use of a um, CPE layer as an um, electron injection layer. So yeah, the ultra-thin CPE layer is sandwiched between emissive layers and source strain electrodes. And the CPE layer most likely introduced ordered dipoles at metal and organic semiconductor interface. Such the dipole orientation uh, lowers the effective work function of gold, thereby causing a reduction of the electron injection barrier. So therefore, the holes are injected from the source to the channel and transport across the channel by the way of this interface charge and transport mechanism, the exons are generated in the emissive layers. So, um, I think there's a variety of important um, things that we need to sort out and future possible applications of this general um, technology. One, of course, as, as jung Ha mentioned, the issue of the exact mechanism by which the charge barriers are, are reduced needs to be sorted out in more detail. The question, of course, if it's a simple dipole layer, whether they, there are other materials which could function equally well. And, um, of course, the ability to effectively modulate the work function and the interfacial properties is really a wide scope problem in, in organic electronics. And uh, this begs the question to what extent this kind of technology or, or practical implementation can be used to modulate, uh, for example, the open circuit voltage of, of, of organic uh, photovoltaic devices and we hope to report that to you in a short time. Thank you very much. Thank you.